My name's Emily uh, Napton, and uh, I'm intending on probably teaching K for second, but I thought I would challenge myself a bit and do fourth, fifth for this lesson. Um, and I don't have a school to really apply this to, so um, when we do morning prayer, I'm just going to pray that you're really nice fifth graders today. <laughs> um, <laughs> so anyways, lost a little sleep last night about the behavior I saw yesterday. Um, anyway, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so good morning class today, and we're going to continue on our unit that we did yesterday. Um, why don't you go ahead for your bell work and um, think of your favorite ocean animal, because we've covered ocean animals for a long time, and think of why that's your favorite ocean animal just for a second. If you want to jot it down, you can, because you're going to need it later, but if it's your favorite. Now, I threw in something sort of fun, because I think it's nice to kind of break up our lives a little bit. Um, I put a bonus station for us and um, had a little fun with this. Um, we're going to create a slide presentation of those animals that you thought of this morning during bell work. Your favorite animal, okay? And so um, my daughters last night did a couple. This is Abby. Now, SpongeBob's taken. Claire did that, so none of you can do SpongeBob, okay? Um, Claire, my six year old, is a fan of SpongeBob, so she already took care of SpongeBob for us. Um, but Abby did this one. She's a, she'll be a sixth grader. Um, and so what she'll do with this at station three, which is sort of fun, um, you're going to take um, this piece of watercolor paper. And then I have um, colored pencils that actually are paint color pencils. And so you'll draw um, whatever your favorite ocean animal is. And if you have a hard time figuring out what that is, you can, um, I have pictures back here for you of some of the ones that we looked at on the computer. Um, and then you'll take Q-tips with water and you will paint over them. Now, I have my camera back here. And fifth graders, I'm gonna allow you to take your own picture of your picture, okay, your own photograph of your picture, um, as long as classmates, now here's the thing, if I see you taking pictures of other classmates or misusing the camera, your picture's not going to appear in the slideshow. And if it doesn't appear in the slideshow, we're going to be showing that slideshow at a couple of things. One, your parents will probably see that. Um, and so if your picture's not in there, you're going to have to explain to your parents maybe why yours didn't make it in. Um, the other thing is, is we're going to, um, I've set up with the, the second grade teachers, we're going to do a presentation to the children. Um, you know, following up our whole entire unit, we're going to create a, a big, huge class presentation. And we're going to present to the second graders. And we want to be able to show them our ocean animals and teach them a little bit about ocean animals. And so you want to make sure you do your best on this and get your picture into that slideshow. So I trust that you all can use a camera. I trust that you can be responsible with it. Um, but if we break the rules, then it's just your picture is not going to be in the slideshow, okay? Um. <laughs> Do you guys want water? How else would they be produced? Are you guys the big crew? I like the eyelashes. I like the eyelashes. What's going on over there? And eyelashes for us. Female. Get your killer wheel. Oh, thanks. You don't mind us doing this. I'm going to have a fin. That's the part of it. Do you guys know how to get to the page? Um, we're trying to lock in. Oh, what page is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, we just linked from your yep. presentation. Yep. Okay. Yep. Nice. I don't know. It takes a while. Are you guys, you guys have about a minute, and so if you're at the back table and you're and you need to paint still, you might want to go ahead and do a little painting. Water. Um, what, how are they the same? They're both water. You can also come back to that maybe um, if you have some extra time. Yeah, true. So just put a big star there. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. 
<laughs> nice, Lori. That looks good. I need to take a picture of mine. You take, Did you oh, take a picture of yours? Did you have the memory card? Did you take the memory card? Oh, maybe my memory card's in my. Let me go get it. Yeah. Better than girls. A little competition going on. Oh, no. Do something nice, okay? Yeah, that's. Well, that's not. No. How about that? That's. Because we are better than girls. Well. They could say better than boys. And then it's up for debate, huh? Well, they're the best group ever. <laughs> okay. You guys only have about five minutes. Did you get your share tabs up? Perfect. Now is that all part of the Dead Sea or is that all? No. Yeah, that's a good job. You can type it. I put on deodorant this morning. With what, your mom's tequila? <laughs> hey, you guys. Let's. <laughs> Just enough time for presentations in our egg experiment. <laughs> Okay, Jason, at this station, you're going to draw a picture of your favorite animal that we learned um, in the ocean. You know what? There's no right or wrong. <laughs> Tim, have a seat. No, Tim, have a seat. Okay, so for fresh water, what would happen? It's going to what? It'll sink. Okay. And for those of you who did salt water, Do you see how that works? Oh my okay. And now for those of you who did the Great Salt Lake, if I did a third cup and I just put like half or a little less than what would be in the, the, the deep sea or uh, the dead sea, what, where would you think that would float? In the middle. In the middle. Okay. So for your assessment, and I'll just show you what it is because <laughs> you're not going to do it, I would have passed this out to you. You would have wrote the egg where it would have been in the cup and you would have labeled it according to where the source was. Okay? And that would have been your assessment. Class dismissed. <laughs>